Hello there guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well, hope you're all keeping safe. Had a good weekend. Huge news coming out of the Premier League and from Stamford Bridge today that Chelsea have sacked their manager Frank Lampard. Um, obviously this has been coming for a little while given how poor the, um, you know Lampard has been performing with Chelsea in the Premier League this year. Um, they are currently ninth in the Premier League after 19 games having lost six times already this season. Obviously they finished top four last year. Um, yeah, you know, like I say, this is huge news. The rumour is coming out of, you know, multiple media outlets, including the Athletic with Raphael Honigstein, that uh, ex-PSG and Borussia Dortmund manager Thomas Tuchel is going to be replacing him at Stamford Bridge. Um, obviously, that brings a whole different conversation that needs to be had about whether Tuchel's the right man. You know, will he get on with Abramovich and the board at Chelsea, given, you know, widely reported uh, stories that, you know, he's quite a prickly char uh, character to work with. But, yeah, I'll get on to that at a different time with, you know, Tuchel and what I think about him, because I actually think he's massively overrated and he's not anywhere near the class that Chelsea need to be going for when people like Max Allegri are around as well. So, yeah, let's just get on to Lampard. Um, why has he gone? Well, obviously, performances haven't been very good at all this season. You know, defensively, they've been very, very poor. One of the traits of a Lampard team is that they're very, very good going forward, and the additions of Kai Havertz, Hakim Ziyech, and Timo Werner, especially in the summer for, you know, what was it? £150 million pound plus, I think they paid £80 million for uh, Kai Havertz, especially very highly rated generational talent, some people have been calling him from Bayer Leverkusen, it's just not clicked for any of them players to be honest, I mean the only big money signing that he made that has really worked out well has been Bill, uh, Ben Chilwell, who's an English lad at left back. And I think that a lot of Chelsea fans, well, say a lot of Chelsea fans, I'm not sure what their reaction is to the news about Lampard getting sacked, but a lot of people's reactions in the summer when they went and spent all this money, you know, after the transfer ban was lifted last season and, you know, they finished in the top four with a group of domestically produced homegrown lads. I think that, you know, obviously the, the signings haven't worked out and, you know, with Lampard, obviously... You know, if you go out and you spend so much money on these established foreigners and it you know, you're worse off, you're gonna be in trouble and ultimately he's paid the price for signing poor players and not getting the results that he expected. Obviously Timo Werner was fantastic at RB Leipzig last year. Kai Havertz was one of the best attacking midfielders in Europe. Hakim Ziyech has been phenomenal for Ajax for years and they've come to the Premier League and quite simply they've not cut it. So yeah, it's very, very interesting that Roman um, has decided to pull the plug now. Obviously, I think they've got Wolves in the Premier League this midweek. They beat Chelsea at home 3-1 in the FA Cup yesterday. Um, but yeah, just a huge, huge piece of news. Obviously, as a club legend, Frank Lampard scored hundreds of goals for Chelsea across decades. Um, you know, he's you know he's quite rightly a legend there. He was a fantastic player for them, but it's just not worked out as a manager. Um, Had he, you know, did he take the job too soon? I personally think he did. You know, um, he got Derby to a playoff final in his first managerial season, but he did have players like Mason Mount there, um, Fakai Tamori, and uh, Harry Wilson. So, you know, he you know, he lost that playoff final, don't forget. So he didn't really prove anything during his time as Derby manager and I think that a job the size of Chelsea with the expectations that's there, uh, I think he took it too soon. He should have gone to a lower Premier League club first and then worked his way up because is he gonna get another chance of being Chelsea manager? Well, not for a very, very long time, I don't think. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. Obviously, massive news to start off the week. Um, you know, I'll be interested to see what people's opinions are regarding this. But yeah, Thomas Tuchel's going to be replacing Frank Lampard at Stamford Bridge. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. Another another managerial merry-go-round at Stamford Bridge. You know, that revolving door culture that they've got there strikes again. So, till next time, guys, subscribe to the channel. Obviously, hope you're enjoying the content. Keep safe, and I'll speak to you soon. See you later. Cheers, bye.